Dear intrepid adventurers, we imagine you finding this letter at some point in your exploration of the question, what happens at the intersection of conceptual art and teaching? We, the authors, found each other at that very intersection, arriving by correspondence. We waited for you, here. Wander with us as we retrace one possible pathway through our own evolving process, using Jorge's questions as a guide. Then we invite you to map your own pathway using our directions and suggestions, a starting point, an X, your X. We forged paths through wordy romps, marked by imagey stomps, connecting meandering video trumps, scouting paths as not always roads, but as flows of images, floods of words, flashes of stories, flickers of listening. Paths formed by weather, like water, like rivers, like puddles escaping through gravel and loosened soil. Rain gathering itself together and following its own paths, slow and sweet, rushing, cascading, and not giving a damn about boundaries. Paths formed, routed, rerouted, lightning illuminating them in flashing impressionistic bursts. This correspondence follows the unpredictable and curious directions of weather paths, water paths, surprising paths of exchanges between us. We first share our process of unmapping a wild correspondence, whispering away, waving. Then we enclose an invitation for your consideration. Come seek us in forests. Come find us through the trees. You, like us, are not here. All of us waiting for directions from the rain, from love to love from tracing our paths to your own plotting of courses. Start here, greet this crumpled map with curiosity. To Mindy, opening lessons. Packaged into tender gifts, unfolded with an upbeat pulse, saffron petals torn, threaded into a generous invitation to take the slow, the sweet path, the one that leads to water, to green blue horizons painted on thick paper and in backyards. The making of a book, map, box, chest, a holding place, a nest for skull artistic dreaming, a space for us, use at handwritten speed. We want to revisit, perhaps to revise the initial question, asking instead what happens at the intersection of conceptual art and learning? We attune the initial question further to consider the matter of distance at this particular and strange moment in our lives. Conceptual art is exploring as the imagining of long distance unmappings that traverse a seamless landscape. Our response creates and unsettles this terrain, meandering to and with ideas, art, texts, meaning making. We spin the daily threads of our existing, smoothing paths and rivers and alternate routes for navigating the field of art education. We set about tracing the relationships between pedagogy and attention rather than pedagogy and curriculum. Pedagogy as the process of chasing an idea that may or may not ever materialize, the ensuing conversation, the thickening connections, the extending of invitations, the pulsing of attention, a rolling, done, a rolling run down a hill and into the woods, not afraid of falling paths we took. To Brooke, breathing lessons. I'm learning to breathe deeper, longer, to notice the slightest sway of the frame, the minor breeze through the leaves of the trees, inhaling, exhaling, to feel how I might catch and match it, watching, wondering, lingering, 
breathing. I am learning to lengthen the time, the space, the meaning. I am learning to breathe again. To Mindy, floating lessons. It wasn't red carnations, but paper white blossoms, not rushing, only patient bobbing in green glass lake water. No flowers growing around this visible shore, yet ever present blooms. Cheap plastic floats buoy us, my mother, me. Last summer it was emergency room visits, the cruel return of cancer. This summer she wears no sunscreen and a black swim dress. We eat plums and sandwiches until it is too hot, then jump back in. A cold water rhythm holds me as the wakes of other boats lift up toward strong blue sunlight, like memories held up by cardboard boxes, swell, swim, current. In the quiet lightness, I reflect how your words, letters, and packages do that same kind of lifting. Awake, waking, awaken to possibilities. In this way, conceptual art unfolding as conversation, mapping, correspondence becomes our pedagogy, a landscape stretching endlessly with room for more intensity and more wild academic abandon. We evoke adventure, questions, ideas, provocations, wonder. We enter the intersection of conceptual art and learning where languages, and images, and ideas swirl in a whirlpool, pulling in and spinning out simultaneously, centripetal, centrifugal, everything open, everything in tension, everything possible, everything in conversation with us, with our students, past, present, future. Separated by distance, distance quickened by post offices, letters, email attachments, packages, we engage this exploration through immersive, multimedia, multimodal correspondence, an ongoing dialogic process of wandering around, co-creating and co-curating dynamic learning instead of static knowledge. Conceptual art inspires temporary topographies, changing and shifting in our presence and with our passage. This recognition prompted us to invite others to chart, create, unmapping with us. We have no idea where we're going. Come along. Take this as a conceptual map, a conversational opening, an invitation to correspond directions. Start here. Greet this crumpled map with curiosity. Send loops of imagination. Open in every direction. Trace some of the strands in reply. Address a micro moment of rupture. Enclose how it feels. Disclose the percolation. Improvise receptivity. Circulate missives on awe. Dispatch wondering since the last time we spoke. Zip code to love, from love. Ask more of language. Collage text image fragments. Envelop the residues. Converse with distance. Listen to whom it may concern. Post the weather. Write messages by hand. Ink without words. Document what is not yet. Sign off with a postscript. Refuse creative closure. Always, yes, and. Mindy and Brooke, P.S. If you get a chance, send replies here. <laughs>